I'm about to get started um, doing a little bit of work from home and I wanted to show you guys this is um, actually here hold on let me step out so this is actually downstairs on our main level and it is just an extra bedroom but it, we're gonna fully convert it into my office so right now we just have case and gun cabinet in here and then this little set of drawers which eventually i think this will get moved upstairs to where i'm gonna pretty much have like my craft room all of my like sewing equipment and stuff is up there i just haven't really set it up um but as you can see we try to touch up the paint on this wall well that paint like this the spots that you see that is the color of our walls out in like the living room and everything well that color does not match the wall color in here so we're going to paint it anyway and i think we're going to do bookshelves along this wall and i don't know i want some sort of seating in this area that gun cabinet will be moved out into a different part of the house um or into this corner which i'm perfectly fine with um and then I need a place for all my books, obviously. Right now, that little cart is all I have. And the floor. Um, also, that's our shredder, so that'll probably stay in here just because my desk is in here. Um, and it's kind of like not something I want out in the main office area in the front of the house. But I've been working on a Harry Potter Lego castle. Um, I'm not gonna really show you my desk because I have work stuff pulled up. Here, I'll show you like I don't know if you can kind of see back here we put or i put that together and then my chair i put together and my chair i got off amazon and it has a little pull out for my feet okay these two are just waiting for me to do something give them treats or take them outside i don't know um, anyway, so we're going to actually pull this carpet up eventually. We have extra flooring that the previous homeowners left that looks like that, and it's Brazilian walnut. It is absolutely gorgeous, and we want it to come all the way into this room. So we have plans. Um, I feel like I could do a light color in this room, and it would be really pretty. I feel like I could do a really moody color in here too. So I'm thinking that you know maybe do bookshelves all along this wall potentially this wall and then we have a closet which right now just has some storage stuff and some coats and things like that do something right here some sort of really pretty plant or plant stand or just photos i don't know yet um this room does have a lot of potential <clears throat> there's a lot of wall space most of the wall space I want to be um, shelving for my books, but I'm thinking I want almost like a Beauty and the Beast style or like a very classic bookshelf, um, something with a lot of detail, dark wood, something like that. Very moody, cozy, comfy, um, and yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at like i love the dark wood of the gun cabinet so if we did like dark moody walls and it's paint like if it's paint or if it's peel and stick wallpaper it's super easy to change it's not like it's something that has to last forever um that's kind of what i'm thinking about for my office area the lighting in here is actually not too terrible um the fan isn't too terrible either um, the fan in our bedroom we will replace like we're gonna pretty much redo our entire bedroom not like the flooring or anything but like the wall paint we just paint repainted our bathroom upstairs and we had um, painters come in and paint like our stairwell and our upstairs because it just that paint also didn't match downstairs it still doesn't but it looks so much cleaner and it's warmer and more inviting cozy i'm tired of the gray i want my house to have a lot of character my last house was super gray gray tones even though we tried to make it look more warm and comfy and cozy like this house is so much easier to make feel that way and we knew we weren't staying at the other house so we didn't want to put a lot of money into it um 
because we knew we were eventually going to move and we didn't we just didn't realize it was going to be this quickly which we're just so happy and now we can take our time and just make this house as comfy and cozy cozier than it already is um and how we want it so i'm going to work for a little while and then i will be back with whatever i decide to do next dishes but my camera died and then I worked a little bit more and then I went upstairs and did my laundry. I finally changed my camera battery. I am hungry. It is almost five o'clock. I'm gonna eat a little snack. I haven't done my small workout yet and Kaysen isn't home yet so we're not gonna go running until a little later um, and then we won't do dinner until after we get back from that. So I think right now I'm done with work for today. So I think I'm gonna eat a snack and then I'm going to probably go work out, do a small workout. I'm not gonna do anything crazy since I'm literally about to eat a snack. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat yet. Um, and then after that, I'll probably take the dogs out and feed them and then Hopefully Kaysen will be home soon. And then we can go running, do dinner, and then I can do my green juice. I figured I would just wait to do all of the juicing stuff while I was already in the kitchen cooking later, since I'm just makes sense. I'm already gonna be in the kitchen, might as well do it all at the same time. Um, I did have a pretty good sized tree branch fall. Um, there was, I guess, a storm last night don't really know I thought it was just raining but I saw it in the yard earlier so I pulled it up to the front porch and I'm actually gonna go um, cut all like the little pieces off because it's a pine tree and I'm gonna use it in my little hanging basket on the front door as like Christmas decor it is very chilly outside and it's actually pretty chilly in my house so I'm probably gonna go get a sweatshirt um, we will see Okay, my snack is gonna be these prosciutto and mozzarella little roll-up things, and then some applesauce. So, a little bit of protein and fat, and then carbs from the applesauce. And then hopefully this will satiate me. I can go exercise, get a little bit warmed up, um, and keep going with my day. I will show y'all whenever I do the um, little tree branch project thing. Um, I will show you guys that as well. So this is that big tree limb and I am going to break off the smaller pieces and put them in here and I'm going to take the fake ones out for now.
that didn't work. So I just put the other stuff back in there. It's not even staying. So I'll probably do something different on my front door for Christmas anyway. I tried, oh well. This is one of my favorite things about our house is all of the wooded areas. Even though we're in a neighborhood, now, uh, well again, it's just a different neighborhood. It's very private. You can see houses through the woods, but it's so much better. I don't have a dog barking at me every time I come outside unless it's my own and I'll be able to plant my garden and do all kinds of stuff back here eventually. I'm just gonna do a quick little workout um, trying to get back into strength training and if you hear anything in the background, that is because I'm watching Once Upon a Time on my iPad. <laughs> finds I've found over the last few weeks. I found this little Christmas tree. It's like flocked, super pretty. It was like $20. And then I found these vintage pink, like satin ornaments. They were $5. And then this past weekend we went thrifting and I found this really cute, like little banner thing and it has like a little cute little bell and it's like velvet um to hang like christmas cards on so that's what i'm gonna do with that and then i got a new oh here's an ornament it's just a really pretty green and gold ornament and then i got a new christmas tree skirt make sure nothing's wrapped up in it and so it's woven and it's got like this velvet lining on the edge and it's so pretty. I haven't bought a new Christmas tree skirt since I was in college, so. Then I got another little ornament. So pretty. It's a Santa ornament. Here, maybe the sliding's better. No, not really. Okay, there we go. He's so pretty and glittery. And then, let's see, I got these bells. I got these bells to hang on my fireplace mantle um, after I get garland, kind of like on the corner. And then I got these, oh, they're so cute. I'm gonna have to get candles for them. But they're like little clips and I got six of them and you put candles in them and they clip onto like the Christmas tree. I can show you. So you like clip them onto the Christmas tree and you put like little candles. So cute. So I got six of those. I got this 
really hefty. Um, like, I don't know if it's sterling silver or brass or what, but it is hefty and it's like a little candle holder. And so these two buckets are my Christmas decorations. That is a Christmas decoration bucket. I have a couple of Christmas decorations out here. My Christmas tree is on the other side. Anyway, I have two more ornaments. I got this really pretty Christmas tree, sparkly. And then I got, I'll show you the box. This is actually a gift for my um, dad. So hopefully this doesn't ruin it, but it's a Georgia Bulldog limited edition ornament where Ugga is um, stewing the Georgia Tech mascot. So that's a Christmas gift for him. And that is all of my thrifting finds. I can't wait to show you everything that I put up for Christmas. And I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas. I also went and picked up the two bows. I should have brought them down here. It's okay. Um, that I'm going to use for either the front door and the Christmas tree or, I don't know, somewhere else. Um, but I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas, possibly. Since I haven't filmed in a long time and we have some really fun things coming up so you guys tell me what you think
to start putting up our Christmas lights on the front porch and but before we do that we're gonna be eating lunch I'm gonna make some burgers on the Blackstone and then we have a couple of wreaths to hang up and some other stuff uh, to do for like Christmas and then take care of the reptile Mm-hmm. <laughs> 